Hey y'all, Craters here. And I think it's time to uh, make a second installment or episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. I was kind of getting into it, but I haven't played it in a day uh, since last recording, actually. So I'll start it up here. Oops. And uh, we'll just continue on right where I left off at. I didn't play anymore, so it should be no problem. Starting right back there. Let the game start up here. And... Uh, start well. Oh, it is. Okay. I didn't hear, oh, right. I turned down the music. That's why I wasn't hearing the music, because I turned the volume down on it in the game. So I wouldn't have to bother with it. Okay. And we're going to flip over to game capture and do that again. There we go. Okay. Now let's start. So we were craters off of 12.5 on coin. Or coy? In? I don't know. Whatever. Load it up. Unfortunately, this doesn't take that long to load into. And make sure my mouse is set somewhat correctly. Yeah, there we go. And it should pick up right where I was left off at in the last video. Like I said, I didn't play any since then. So there we go. Now I just have to remember what we were doing. <laughs> but there are some features in 12.5 I'd like to check out. I have not done that, to be honest. And uh, what's our task? Craft a motorbike. Really? Do we, do, we, do we have to do this? I forgot. Craft a motorbike. We'll go ahead and do that. Why not? I hate this thing. It's really, really terrible. I don't think anybody likes this thing. Craft ammo. You know, I've already crafted a shotgun. Oops, reload it. And ammo for it. Go ahead and pick that back up. We'll just throw that. Uh, can we throw that in this thing over here? I think we can. Because I don't want it. It really is terrible. I'm going to take that with us. And just move this stuff around. Since you can't sort personal cargo box. I think I mentioned that last time in the last video. And uh, craft ammo. So, since we've already done that, select a weapon that suits your needs. Shotgun's a really good starter weapon. But you can defend yourself against even bigger enemies and animals. So we've actually already done that. We kind of got ahead of ourselves up from the tutorial. So if you open up this, you know, your uh, PDA on the PDA screen up here, you can kind of skip through things in circumstances like this, but if you haven't gone through the tutorial, I don't recommend doing that. All right. And, oh, uh, Commander, I am scanning a terrestrial transport vessel of unknown origin in our vicinity. We should go find it. The motorbike is really only an emergency solution and does not offer any protection or transport capacity or even defense measurements. Measures. Sorry, English. Difficult. Let's go. Now, I think this is the hover bike thing. And so, yeah. Now we got to find that hover bike. But let's get some more daylight going here and sleep in the tent. There we go. Where is this thing? Signals over that way. Got our trusty shotgun handy. <laughs> Excuse me. And continue on this way. We're going to keep our... Oh, it's right here. And... Let's get this tree out of the way here. What was that? Nothing. I thought I heard something. I guess not. Uh, we want defense mode. I think I mentioned in the last video the uh, survival tool here. It'll drop that wood right into our inventory, which is kind of nice. 
And we'll go ahead and get this silicone while we're standing right at it. There we go. And, oh, see, I thought I heard something. And then they went silent. There's more over here. Little buggers aren't going to get me this time. Take this lead while we're here. Lead. Iron. And I have to pick up more silicone. Wow. And... Ooh, where are you? Where are you? Directional sound in this game is not that great. Sometimes it's difficult to be able to hear which direction these things are coming from. See, now it went silent again. That's disturbing. It might be in this bush over here. Yeah. There you are. I heard you from way over there. You. Sit. You too. Thank you. Grab that. Did I grab that? I did grab that. Okay. Iron. Get it. Uh -huh. oh. This is more iron. You can tell because of the bluish color in her. Well, I'm not sure why it's blue, but... Hmm. I'm not the designer. You know, exposed iron rock would actually be kind of red in color. Because it'll rust. It'll uh, uh, oxidize. Especially, you know oxygen-rich environment, such as this one. And, oh, I'm going to pick up an egg. Well, I don't need it. More iron. More silicone. More silicone. Now we're going to check out this hover bike, finally. Hover bike. Hover vessel. Where'd it go? I lost it already. There it is. You little buggers, go away. Oh, well, it is free food. Don't you even think about it. Here we go. Alright. And then we have to access the control panel. We can do that with P. Go to devices and see what we're missing. So we need generator and a fuel tank. Alright, now we'll just auto group things for the moment. And that's it. And we're gonna need some fuel. So we're gonna have to run back and do all that stuff. And it's got a box on here. Oh, there is a can of fuel on it. We'll leave it there. We're gonna need it in that thing anyway. Is there another these little buggers over here? No, that's ant fibers. Okay. Ooh. Why does it jump that high? Oh, okay. And constructor. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. And put that in there. Better now. Better now. There we go. And I don't think we can make these yet. Oh, yes, we can. So, we're going to click on hover vessels. We need a generator. And we need a fuel tank. The small ones were due for that thing until the bigger build a bigger one. But I actually have a blueprint for one, so we'll just use that. One I built in uh, creative mode. I actually copied. Uh, back when Off 11 came out, I think. And we're just going to have to wait a minute for that. Collect some resources and stuff while we're at it. go chop down a couple more trees 
Alright. Is there anything in the tech tree we can open up? Uh, we are level 4. We got 44 points. So let's go ahead and open that up. Hover vessel. Go ahead and get that. Uh, RCS is cheap enough. Get my gun. Weapons. And assault rifle. I need one more level for that. How are we doing? We're getting close. Oh, we're getting close. We need like, uh, oh, a thousand more uh, points. A thousand more XP. Alright, now we got generator and our fuel tank. And it's going to ask us to make some fuel here shortly. And somewhere under one of these things is fuel. That one? No. Yeah. Biofuel. Where are you? That one? No. There we are. There we are. Well, uh, let's just, uh, don't have a ton of wood, so it's not going to make a lot. It's going to make it from the plant fibers, which is fine. And if we run over there real quick. Oh, I got time for you guys right now. Bug off. <laughs> that was stupid. I need to put the things in the thing. So we got a generator. It's actually even kind of labeled spots for you. I don't know. Put it, look, so yeah, you can see the F or fuel G's for generator. So they kind of labeled it kind of where you want, where they want you to put them, but you don't have to put them there if you don't want to. Right, climb in here. I'm going to make some fuel. This little, go away. Or die. That works for me too. There are more. There's a couple over here. Let's get that copper while we're here though. Always need the resources. And it'll get us closer to level 5. So will these guys. XP. Uh, 320. Ooh, I know there's more of them. Where are they? Oh, that one's dead. Wish I could hear them. Yeah, come on. Where are you at, you little buggers? More silicone over here, some more iron. Yeah, take care of this tree. You can do this with a shotgun, too. Kind of a waste of ammo. We do. Okay, I got three wood from that. And we can always make a chainsaw at some point. Not sure if that's unlocked yet or not. Alright, let's put the stuff in the stuff. Put that in there, put that in there, eat one of those. And as soon as that's done making some fuel, we can make some food. Um. How many meats in there? Oh, that thing's persistent now. Oh, that's nice. As we close the game, it didn't used to save. You used to have to redo it. Apparently in 12.5, they uh, took care of that. That is actually awesome. So we can make six of these. We'll go ahead and do it. Excuse me. Take a little sip of something to drink. I should have made the crafting speed faster. You know, when you're playing on your own by yourself or even with friends, crafting speed's not a big deal. You can do other things. But when you're trying to make a video, this is really slow. Oh, I think we can... I think that took care of the requirement. Yes, it did. All right. You had to make two of those if you didn't catch it on there. Not that. So you had to make two biofuel. Which we have done. And now we can run back to the thing. Wherever it, there it is. Are there any more of them little alien insects? Come on. I could use the XP. Come on, you little buggers. More silicone. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Now we can access with the P menu. And go into fuel, or because it's exposed, we can just 
open up the fuel tank and just drop those right in there. And before we forget, there's that one there. We'll drop that in there too. And we're good. Hop on and then hit Y. Oh, space to go up. C to go down. And you can see on the left side, part of the HUD, the line there, it says 61 meters. And then there's a 1.5 meter. Uh, that's your height off the ground. So now 0 0.9, 1.5. Of course, WASD, traditional movement keys. And apparently the light is on. We'll shut it off. We don't need that. We're going to come over here. Turn it off. Why again? You can also do that in the P menu. Alright. I don't need that on because it doesn't have any turrets or weapons. It doesn't have any thrusters, actually. This thing, all it has is... Say, uh, sorry, all it has is hover engines. These are ground repulsor engines. Four of them. Really? Huh. thought I had three. And we see this ungroup section, and we can hit this auto group, and it'll automatically group them for us. But if you're dealing with something from the factory, a blueprint or something, you got some special groups you have created, be careful with that, because it will automatically, oh, we don't need that, why am I going there? It'll automatically group everything to a predefined thing, and it'll mess all your special groups up. Take that. That should be enough fuel for the moment. Let's cancel those other two. Because we're going to need more wood anyway. And we're waiting. More waiting. What do we got to do? Craft a detector. That's what we got to do. So let's get rid of that. And we have to craft a detector, which is right there. And we see it's locked. And go back to the tech tree. Hover vessel somewhere. In here is a detector. There it is. There we go. Let's make ourselves a detector now. Bam. I'll make sure I'm making the right one. Yeah, there we go. So we can see um, about halfway down there. Placeable. Mass, volume, placeable. HV is what we want. We don't want to make one for something else. Fortunately, this is the only one we can make anyway, so it's not easy to make the mistake and what I have been doing is sticking this thing right on the front there we go uh, check the PDA for me you have successfully completed part two of the Robinson protocol with this hover vessel exploration should now be much more comfortable comfortable check the PDA F1 for more information and additional help topics thank you now we're gonna get um before we go elsewhere, I strongly suggest to build a sustainable base as a fallback, but also as a starting point for the upcoming adventures and long-range exploration attempts. Preparations. You should look for a suitable area. Make use of the detector. A base next to resource deposits or even water may be a good start. To start your own base, you need a base starter block. You can possibly find one in a personal container. If you need to craft one, do so in the portable constructor. After you've acquired the base starter block, equip it onto your toolbar. Let's go. We're going to skip a bunch of this. Because eh, I've got a good base. We're going to open up F2, which is our blueprints. We're going to go to bases. And I actually want this warehouse level 7. We got three different versions of this, and they all look like this one looks like I don't know, uh, like a fast food restaurant. <laughs> if you're from the states, that's what it looks like to me. But it's actually pretty decked out, and it's got pretty decent protections on it. This level five one, eh, I mean, that's okay. It's basically the same shape and everything. It's just a uh, uh, different materials it's made out of. And then this thing looks ridiculous. I really need to redo it, but these are some basic starter um, starter bases that I came up with. We're going to put that to the factory, and we can see our resources, 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 English, difficult, uh, 
required to build this thing. So 970 stone dust, iron, 700 iron, 702, some copper, some silicone, some carbon substrate, which is uh, plastic, wood, carbon substrate. I guess that's kind of a wood plastic thing. I don't know. Wood and one wood plank, which actually we have. Where's our constructor? So we have two. Uh, this is our, oh, nitrocellulose. All right. We're going to F2 again, and we'll just take our, plop it right in there. Now that's fulfilled because of the numbers green. We got one extra in there, actually. Oh, we need that. And uh, we might as well cook that food up before it goes bad. Let's go ahead and make those. And let's take some uh, iron out. I need two or three of those, and I'm we're gonna make a another portable constructor. Here we go. Always comes in handy. So with two of them, you can have one making food and oxygen and survival needs, and then we can have one making all the other things we need until we get an actual uh, small constructor, large constructor, advanced constructor kind of thing. Sorry about that. How are we doing here? We got three of them made. Let's go ahead and chomp down on those. Get our food level back up. Come on, let's go. There we go. Let's do on that. We got our constructor. What do we need to do? Oh, the base starter kit. Yes. Yes. How much iron and stuff do we got in here? A 33 iron. We're going to need more as to make... Uh, where is it? This takes five iron ore with ten. So we need 350 iron. <laughs> uh, but I think we can make enough carbon substrate. It's plant fibers and stone dust, four to one on that. But it makes 20 at a time and we needed like 200. So just do ten of that, like so. And then we're going to go find us some uh, ores. Y for powering this thing on. Oops, wrong button. So we got some resources over that way. There's one just 300 meters here. Let's go see what it is. Copper. Medium deposit. And F2 to back to our uh, factory. We need 164, so we need like 82. Copper ore, or is that right? Yeah, half as much. So we need 90. Let's just call it 90, right? So we're going to get up out of this thing, and we're going to have to use our survival tool right at the moment. Get our detector, because we lost where that was. Oh, let's move a little further up. There we go. And if we hit F5, we've actually got a... Uh, Drone. Kind of a drone type thing. And oh, here it is. We're going to use this to do our digging. At the same time, while we're digging up this copper, which here we go. See, this is green. Oxidized copper would be green, like the Statue of Liberty. gather up some of this. Really like to get a drill, but we're not high enough level for that. Oh, now we're down on the stone. Uh, which speaking of, as I was saying before I lost my train of thought, as usual, as we're gathering this copper, we might gather some stone up, which we can use anyway, so it's a win-win. Works out for us. I don't know if you can hear that click. When it clicks, you gather resource. When it doesn't, you don't. 
And the survival tool doesn't have as high a chance of gathering and stuff as, you know, say a drill or better drill. See, I'm not getting anything sometimes. All right. Which is sucks. It's not so great. We'll get a drill at some point. We need to go find some uh, Promethium so we can power up our multi tool there on the toolbar. And when we get a drill, we can also make uh, uh, fuel sources for that as well. It's more, I don't know how much we got. We 122. I think that's more than enough. Let's not get carried away here. Hit F5 again. We're back in this thing. We're going to put some of this in here, I guess. That's all it fits. 44. Ugh. This thing is really crap. Alright. But. Good for the moment. Alright. And head back. Might as well drop this off and get it making some copper. And then we'll go get some uh, other resources. Alright. I'm going to get that out of there. It's not serving any good purpose in there. And we can drop that in there, drop that in there, and take that out. Almost forgot we did make this in our survival constructor. We're going to plop that down. Rotate it. Stick that right there. And we'll take our food items and we'll put that over there. Um, that's it, right? That's it. And let's get that water out of there too. Why not? Right, and that, 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 and that's it. Oh, the water. Good. Okay, so now if we need some food, we can do that in this thing, or some first aid stuff, plant fibers. So we need plant fibers over there too, which we have some. We'll just take that little bit there and drop it in there. So need coming rises, we can make uh, some more bandages, which we got three. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a couple. And, um, oh, copper ingots. We needed, how many? Forgot already. Uh, 164. So this is 10 at a time. So there's 100. And... 70. Go with that. And we probably could have got because we already got six in there. While that is doing that, let's go find some other stuff. Get the detector. There's a silicone deposit over here. We'll go get it. Oop, messed it up. There you go. Basically over top of it. F5 again. Bring the drone out. And there it is. The grindy, grindy part of early game. Here's a silicone. Kind of got that white crystalline type thing. Just gather a bunch of this up. It's kind of the boring part. And... I would skip it during editing, but then there's kind of a sudden transition from one to the other, and I don't know how to make fancy transitions yet in my editing software. Still learning. Still learning. I will figure it out. Just not right now. Hit the 30 minute recording time mark. So, we're not gonna take this up very much further. You know, just upload it the way it is. Just kind of basically what I did last time. I cut a couple little segments out, but not too much. Like this time, I'm not. I don't think we're gonna cut anything out. 
And there's some more of this. How much we got? 99. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Should be. Maybe a little bit more. Come on. Really? Crush stone. There's 13 more. So, 136 of it. F5 again. And head back. Turn this thing around. There we go. At night time already. Alright, shut that thing off. And the stone in there, put that in there. Take the copper out. Let's go ahead and make our 160, was it? Make 170 of it, so that's times 10. Alright, we still got 45 copper left, and we need to get a bunch, a bunch of iron. We need like 700, so we need like 350 of this iron ore, and then we need a bunch more stone too. Um, make the concrete blocks. Actually, we can make those. We need cement, stone dust. This, I forgot what kind of a process this is. So. You know, let's make as many of these concrete blocks as we can. Because, uh, it's not all concrete. Get to 970 stone. If we make the actual blocks, because a lot of this out here, if I remember right, is concrete. The, the main structure itself is steel, so you can upgrade it to combat steel or hardened steel or whatever the things are. Um, yeah, not that. Uh, you probably can't see in this constructor. The steel blocks. Yeah, I guess the best that this thing can produce. We'd have to get actual constructor. Small constructor, large constructor, advanced constructor. You can make better and better things. But if we make concrete blocks, then just drop a hundred of them in there. I mean... If we make the actual blocks, our like F2, our uh, production time here. So if we give it like all of these steel blocks and um, those are uh, solar panels out back. And there's some guns. I can't remember the actual name. So if we get the actual blocks, our, our production time is actually going to decrease which would be great. There's a silicone. One more. Thank you very much. And we'll get an F2. So we, there's our copper requirement taken care of. There's our silicone requirement taken care of. There's, oh, we only need 64. Ooh. That's all right. It's cheap. Now we need the stone dust and the iron ingots. But I think we're going to call it a video. And uh, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and quit the game. So I'm not tempted to do things. I'd like just to pick it up where we left off. And so, if you do happen to watch this video, I appreciate it. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. This is the uh, second actual video I'm posting on YouTube. I'd like to know how I'm doing. Uh, if you happen to like it, please leave a like. Um, but if you don't like it, even leave a dislike. <laughs> but if you don't like it, then uh, I'm asking you to tell me why. Uh, and if you like it, you can tell me why too. That's fine, but it's not required. Actually, none of it's required. Uh, but I'd appreciate it anyway. So have a good one. And stay safe out there with everything that's going on in the world today. And uh, that's it. It's Craters. Take care.